Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be tackling Assetto Corsa Competizione once more, but surprisingly we're actually going to be doing multiplayer, so this is probably my first real multiplayer video on this game as such without, you know, the first one where I kind of just slighted the hell out of it. But to be fair, since that last video, um, yeah, I've figured out a lot of things. I still stand by a lot of what I said, but... Yeah, there's a few things that I did get wrong and I need to hold my hands up to that. Uh, but yeah, overall, once you've actually learned what everything is and how it all works and stuff, uh, online can be a fantastic place to be. And this video I'm going to show you today, um, where we're going to be racing around Monza, and we're jumping into the Honda NSX. Uh, we're actually going to be a guy called Baguette, of all names, which is, I have to say, that's absolutely quality for a surname. Uh, fantastic. But yeah, we did a quick join and we are going to be joining, well, racing around Monza, uh, and I decided to go for a car that I've not really been in before, which is the Honda NSX. Uh, and yeah. Well, boys and girls, looks like I'm not getting a qualifying time in then, is it? <laughs> oh dear, so only 40 seconds to go, really. Just gives us a little bit of time to adjust the setup. So, uh, once again, I will always say thank you to you guys, because you helped me so much with the um, setups and stuff like that. So, just going through some of your tips and adjusting stuff like the fuel and the aero and stuff like that. One of the things I looked for was the rear wing. Um, just to make sure it's as low as it possibly can be to get that top end speed and it was set to zero already now I don't know it's because of the, the type of car or if the aggressive setup already does that for you but that was one of the things I actually looked out for to make sure the wing uh, was as low as it possibly can be so again uh, big thanks to all you people in the chat <laughs> and anyone who's given me any advice on this game so far um, much appreciated so we've actually started in 15th place okay so originally it said 22 I think there's 29 people in originally, but now it's reduced to 19, which is a tad annoying. But we're starting 15th place, and we're going to do we're going to do our very best to try and get a good result here. Um, again, no practice, but no pressure. I'm just coming here to have a little bit of fun. Uh, I think I was recording this on a Thursday or Wednesday night. Didn't have too much to do. Uh, I was quite relaxed, unfortunately. Let's just jump on this game and let's just have a nice, relaxed approach and have a little bit of fun. Um, so as we're rolling to, well, as we're about to go underway. I actually get quite a good start, so I actually managed to get the guy uh, that was directly behind us. He looked like he was on our right, but he kind of just dropped off a little bit. Uh, and I'm getting a slipstream of this Ferrari, making sure I stay in it. Now, obviously, the first corner of Monza is absolutely mental, so I'm going to be extremely cautious here. As soon as I see those brake lights from the Ferrari, as he goes off there, uh, he's going to cause some sort of carnage. And yes, he does. <laughs> so, yeah, he's taking someone out. But I have literally, I was just so cautious through this section here. And we get a nice exit, we get a good bit of traction coming out of there. And we're now. Uh, it's just going to take a while. Still says 15th in the left-hand corner as we're fighting this Nissan GTR on the left-hand side, I believe. Um, but we seem to have a really, really good getaway. And you can see, we're in 5th place now. We're in 5th place, but then it suddenly jumps to 7th. So I don't quite know how that works. I don't know if it's done on sectors or, or, or whatnot. I just thought it would be as soon as you... Oh, God, and then lost the rear end there. But <laughs> I thought it was as soon as you overtake, like in most games. So... I'm not really quite sure um, why it took so long to update, but this Nissan GTR, by the way, he's all in my mirrors. He is not giving me a moment's uh, peace here. But P7 from P15, that's a very, very good start at Monza, so I'm not going to be complaining at all whatsoever. Uh, and the car, I have to say as well, I only know, although we've only done a few corners, it actually feels pretty good. I think uh, Baguette is actually coming in strong. Uh, what I will say as well, uh, apologies for some of the text you might see uh, during this race. We see a Ferrari's absolutely destroyed himself there. Uh, apologies for some of the text you might see. I have taken a lot of it out. It's just, yeah, it's just, honestly, the text is, it was just a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> There's one that's really, really bad, so I have edited that out. So, um, a pre warning to you guys. Um, oh my god, look at that. Jesus. Just about dodging that then. That was bloody close. Those two collided into each other and I could see it coming and I just reacted in time there. But that's put up, up to now fourth place. And we started in 15th. So we've gained 11 positions in the opening lap. That is very, very good. Very good indeed. So if we can aim for some sort of podium here, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? I mean, what a, uh, what a result that would be considering we're starting so far back and so far behind and on such a dangerous circuit to overtake as well uh, and to avoid incidents is just it's just pure luck sometimes on this track so uh, very very happy with that I'm gonna have to learn to turn the text off because people in this game as you can tell 
they get a little bit annoyed. <laughs> they get a little bit annoyed when they get taken out, and because obviously this is on PC, this version, uh, that's why you see more than 20 races in the lobby. Um, yeah, they they voice their opinions. Uh, they let their voices be heard. So uh, again, once more, apologies for the text. If you see any at all with some bad language in it, it's not me. Skipping ahead to the next lap then. Now, unfortunately, I completely forgot my breaking point and I broke at the 100 meter board instead of the 150. And I just about avoided going straight into the back of that Mercedes. That would have been an absolute disaster. Uh, but thankfully, we only get a warning, so we don't get a penalty as such. We only get a warning. Um, I was really worried that because when we entered the track, it said we were like half a second up on our personal best, so I was concerned. But thankfully, the game just gave us a warning and not an actual penalty. So, as we skip ahead again, we've got this Mercedes now uh, chasing me down. Uh, you can tell some of the guys in this lobby have got some really seriously good pace. Um, really, really good. So, I wasn't 100% on it in this race. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But I was still, I wasn't exactly going slowly, shall we say. And um, the speed of that Mercedes on the left hand side. We're going to have to go defensive. So, I'm on the inside straight away. I have to try and outbreak him here, give him as much room as I possibly can. And we're just about slot in front of him there. And we just managed to keep that P4 position. However, he now has a slipstream going around this corner as well. So again, I'm just going to have to see if I can make my car as wide as I possibly can. But he gets really close. He's going for a move on the inside for the next corner. So he's on the left-hand side. I'm just trying to make it as difficult as I can. I break just after the 150 meter board. But unfortunately, he gets a nice move on the inside done. Uh, he, yeah, he just nailed his break point and nearly lose the rear end once more coming out of there. But unfortunately, um, it was just a great move by him. Uh, and I couldn't really do much more to defend my position. And that's just racing sometimes. So unlucky on that one. Skipping ahead once more then. Uh, the Mercedes is catching the guys ahead. But as you can see, I've now got McLaren 720S up my arse. So I've now got to try and defend from this guy instead. So... Unfortunately, we are slowly dropping off. We really haven't managed to um, get some solid, consistent pace at the moment. But that McLaren, as you can see, is right in my mirror. So he's going to go to the left-hand side. I stuck on the inside, as always. She was trying to be defensive going to that first corner. Breaking after 150 meters board as hard as I possibly can. Just about make the corner. Mercedes in front of us has gone off then. So there might be a little opportunity to be had up here. As they're all fighting ahead, but I still have that McLaren right behind me. But this time... I do have the slipstream of the guys ahead. Now he goes for the early move around the outside, uh, but once more I'm going to have to just make my car as wide as I possibly can. I go to the left this time because I'm just in front of the McLaren, and then I'm going to brake. And yeah, we can see a Mercedes gone off there, so he's hit the wall. I don't know if there's some sort of collision with another opponent there. And he clips the wall, but he manages to come back on, amazingly. So uh, yeah, he's, he's managed to, to hold his position, believe it or not, which is... Uh, quite remarkable really, but he goes a little bit wide. I'm looking for a move on the inside through Lesmo 2, but I'm just not risking it here. Um, and he goes a little bit wide again, and that leads me to go on the inside eventually through the exit of Lesmo 2. Um, and then he puts his indicator on. So my assumption here is he knows I've got the slipstream on him. So I've got the slipstream just as fast as I've got enough. I move to the right hand side, inches away from him in the back there. Uh, and then we just outbreak him, and yeah, we've managed to see that position done. So we're now up to P4. So let's just see then, if we get our head down and just concentrate, uh, work on our pace, and not make any silly mistakes, I reckon we can chase down this McLaren. We are in a slipstream, he's got no one ahead of him, let's see what we can do. Alright, four minutes later then, we really haven't made too much progress, we're going through Lesmo 1, our pace is very similar, but you can see there's all sort of dust kind of kicking up there, and it's a Porsche that's gone off, so um, he's gone off there, again, he's got his indicator on to say... Well, I don't really know why he's got his <laughs> indicator on, to be fair, because he's not letting me pass, or he's not slowing down too much. He's got the slipstream of the guy ahead, but uh, we've now got a Porsche in play as well, so um, there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot more racing going on in this video than I thought there would be, to be honest with you, because I, I, as soon as I got P4 or whatnot, I thought that was it, but uh, yeah, there's <laughs> plenty of action going on, and there's still plenty of action to happen, but we still have the slipstream of the Porsche ahead. I just want to see how good this car really is in a straight line. Uh, when I picked the Honda NSX, I did worry that the, the straight line speed would be... Um, I, don't know, I just had a feeling that the straight line speed wouldn't be that great. As that guy goes a little bit out of shape there, and I'm having to the brakes on hard uh, to make sure we do not go into the back of him. Still leaving those indicators on. And as you can see, just in front of him as well, so um, P3 and P2, they're fighting for positions. They're jostling right now. I'm right over, or all behind, this Porsche. So I'm going to have to look for a move on the inside then, as we're getting a massive tug. 
all the way up through uh, the first section here through the straight. Breaking really hard again on the 150 meter board, just about making the corner, but making sure we give this guy plenty of space. And that was really, really nice clean racing. We couldn't quite get the move done on the inside, but I braked as late as I possibly could. If I braked any later, I would have caused an incident. And he, to be fair, was very clean as fair as well. So uh, that was some really, really nice racing. But we're still on the back of these guys. We're just waiting for something to happen. Breaking on the 150 meter board, going to the left and then going to the right. McLarens have a little bit of a um, nudge there with each other. Uh, nothing too drastic. They don't lose too much time. But we are starting to edge ourselves closer and closer into this battle here. So there's four cars now fighting for P2. And this guy goes wide. So I'm going to look for a move on the inside here. Just break ever so slightly later. Go through Lesmo 2. Little tiny nudge. And unfortunately the guy goes off. And yes. Bit of a talking point on this one. Because he sent me a lot of messages saying he was angry. So let's just go through this again. I'm going to slow it down for you. Okay. So going through Lesmo 2. I'm on the inside. I break just ever so slightly later than he does. Alright. So now I'm in front of him. And I'm in the corner. I'm in the middle of the apex. I'm on the right hand side. I'm giving as much room as I can. I think he's turning in too much. And then he hits me and goes off. Uh, you guys can make your decisions in the comments. And you know look back at this. But I just wanted to show a replay. Because he was, he was literally sending me so many messages saying... God, well, you don't want to know, but yeah. Um, McLaren ahead then. He goes off. Now, he's going to rejoin, but he's just on the racing line. So, having to slam on the brakes, just about hit him. Um, but, thankfully, nothing too much. Nothing too drastic. So, uh, yeah, we haven't lost any da uh, time or damage or whatnot. So, it's all good. Now, we're going to look for a move on the inside here. But, he, to be fair, he nails his braking point. So, I couldn't quite um, get the move done going through here. But, he gets all sort of out of shape. And, unfortunately... I had to skip that little bit because that's when the guy absolutely spammed me with messages saying every word under the sun that you shouldn't. <laughs> and yeah, I just had to cut that whole bit out of the video, but um, we'll skip it ahead then. We've actually managed to get a move done on the McLaren and that puts us up to P2. So now all we have to do is defend from this guy behind us and we've managed to get a P2 all the way from P15. We can get a P2, so that's what? what? 13 positions gained in the race uh, that would be quite something but this is the last lap then so I'm just keeping an eye on behind him uh, we set a personal best so we are improving even this late into the race we are still improving but of course our fuel levels are getting lower I nail my breaking point here as you can see the McLaren just goes a little bit wide and we managed to get a good exit um, and just kind of streak away a little bit so we're what three and a half temps up on our previous best so it goes to show uh, how much I really did nail that first section uh, of that corner. Uh, going through this right hander then, this guy's still he's still there, he's just keeping us honest, he's not too close though. Uh, breaking that 150 meter board once more, uh, making sure we don't attack the inside of that kerb too much because it really does unsettle the car. Do not touch the such kerbs going through there. It will destroy your time and your car and it just makes it so unsettled, it's a joke. But going through Lesmo 1, just being really patient and then putting the throttle down halfway through and then powering out. Uh, and then it's going to be the same sort of thing for the Lesmo 2 as well. Breaking on the board, uh, hitting them with the apex and then powering out not to take too much curb on the left hand side just trying to be as smooth as we possibly can uh, that McLaren then still not really gained any much more time I can see him on the minimap and I can see him on the radar as well he's still behind us so he's going to pounce on any mistakes we make now I just break on the uh, bit of concrete on the right hand side just going through this section here once more for the last time again as smooth as I possibly can be I didn't take too much curb I was as I drove past that guy I was almost like praying, like hoping that was P1, because it would have been a would have been a victory, and I would have absolutely loved that. But unfortunately, it was not. So um, we, that's a back marker. So we've gone past him, um, but yeah, you can see the leaders now finished the race. We just go ever so slightly wide through the last corner, and it does cost us a lot of time. But thankfully, uh, the guy in the McLaren is not near enough, and we are going to cross the line, get our first podium in this game online, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. Uh, we, all our ratings boost as well, and our SA and a CC as well, so that's great to see. But, yeah, our first podium online around Monza. I do love this place. Uh, this Honda's been fantastic for me. Yes, the rear end lost itself a little bit sometimes, but uh, I think that was a really, really nice, well-controlled race. We didn't have the pace at times, but we just kept it. We kept our head down, we concentrated, and, yeah, we managed to get a result, really. And we didn't have the pace, really, to be honest with you. Um, but we managed to get a P2, and I thought that was thoroughly deserved in the end, to be honest. Uh, it does say P1 at the moment, but I assume that's because um, the guy's already left or whatnot. I don't think he would have had penalties 
uh, that, that amount, amount of penalties. I can't even speak. But um, yeah, that was that was awesome. Um, yeah, that's our first podium. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Absolutely loving the videos at the moment. Uh, I hope you guys are as well. Um, again, if there's anything you want to talk about, please comment below. Uh, and if you're new around here, subscribe for more stuff. Just, yeah, honestly, guys, thank you for the support recently. It's just been fantastic. So I know it's a long sign off for a video, but yeah, I've just been loving the, uh, life so far uh, doing YouTube. So again, thank you very much. And I will catch you for a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. if you're watching this on the day this is released. But uh, take care, guys. Have a lovely weekend. Ta-da.